In the last video, we derived the formula for the volume of a sphere using the volumes by slicing method. In this video, we're going to do the same thing with a cone. So you can orient this cone however you want, but I'm going to draw my cone opening upwards along the z-axis. We can say that it has a total height of, say, capital H and a maximum radius here of capital R. If we slice this cone into pieces, you'll notice that each one of those pieces is going to be a circle or technically an infinitesimally thin cylinder. Each one of these cylinders is going to have a thickness of dz. And what we're going to do again is look at a specific circle or cylinder here, say at some specific value of z, we'll just still call it little z. And we're going to essentially find the area of the circle, which gives us the volume of this little element here. And then we're going to integrate or add up all of those elements. And that's going to give us the total volume of this cone. In other words, we have a volume that is the integral of pi r squared dz, where r is the radius of each one of these circles right here, which you can see changes as z changes. How does that radius change? Well, it changes according to the equation of this line right here. This line is in the yz plane. It rises h units and runs r units. So the equation of that line on the border of this cone is z equals h over r, where h and r are both constants. Now for any given z value, the radius of the circle slices out at that z value is just going to be this y value here. And we can see that this y value is going to be y equals r over h times z. So that is the radius of each one of the circles sliced out of this cone. If we take that radius and plug it in right there, we get an integral of capital R over h times z squared dz. Now the limits of integration that are going to go here and here are based on the smallest and largest values of z in this cone. So the smallest value of z that we could get would be right down here at the origin, zero, and the largest value of z would be right up here at capital H. So we're going to integrate from zero to capital H. And when we complete this integral, we should have ourselves the volume of a cone. The first thing I would probably do is square everything that's in the parentheses here. Keep in mind that capital R squared and H squared are both constants, so they can be taken out of the integral. Now we can integrate Z squared with respect to Z, which should be pretty easy. It's just one third Z cubed evaluated from zero to h. Now to complete this integral, we need to plug in the upper limits of integration. We're gonna replace z with h. We're gonna subtract, and we're gonna plug in the lower limit of integration. That's gonna give us this line right here. And if we simplify, we can cancel two of the h's from the denominator with the h's in the numerator, bring the one third out front, and we get one third pi r squared h, which as expected is the volume of a cone. Okay, I'm gonna zoom out on that and call it good for this video.